and welcome to Web TV. Now, John loves his tech and can't wait to get his hands on the latest gadgets. So here he is with another first look. Internet radio, that's radio using data streamed over the internet, is a great development, but it can be a bit overwhelming. There are literally thousands of stations to choose from. Well, the Q2 internet radio aims to simplify all that. It's possibly the simplest radio interface yet devised to change station. You simply turn the radio over, that's uh, station one, station two. To increase volume, you tip the radio back. To decrease volume, you tip it forward. If you fancy not listening for a bit, you simply shut the radio up by putting it down on its face, or you can switch it off altogether using the switch at the back. To achieve all this simplicity, though, you do have to spend quite a bit of time with the computer. You've got to download the special software to go with the radio, fill in a rather lengthy registration process involving all sorts of addresses, email addresses and phone numbers, which really is rather unnecessary. And then you've got to program the radio, having connected it to your network. You can actually scroll down through a list of stations and podcasts and assign one to each of the four faces. Once you've uh, programmed it, you can disconnect it from your computer and start listening. And the sound quality is pretty good, actually. It's very loud for something that's so small and quite high quality. Be an Insight podcast number 158. It's a slightly different podcast today, but with me in Sussex, as usual, I have... Battery life's pretty good, about uh, seven hours or eight hours on a charge. Picks up Wi-Fi signals rather well. There are, however, a number of disadvantages, and the main one... I think it really is lack of choice. I programmed it with a foreign station that I was keen to get to know and a couple of UK stations and a podcast, but I soon found that I wanted to do a bit of listening on another station that I hadn't programmed. In order to achieve that, I'd have to reconnect the uh, Q2 to a computer, reprogram it with another station, all that sort of thing. Really far too difficult, far too time consuming. And it wasn't that great listening to the podcast either because uh, it was a long podcast and uh, whenever you switch to it, it started from the beginning. You can pause or rewind it. So the Q2 isn't without its appeal, but I think if you're considering one, you have to ask yourself really carefully whether you could live with just those four presets. I think most people will find it a bit frustrating.